I feel really connected with my scooter because I can go in and out everywhere. With the auto, Rake was connected to anything that I'm connected with, and that's a good feeling. It used to be difficult, but now it's so much easier. And when it's easier, she can feel it, and that smile comes out, she's laughing. It's just great to be able to have that, that ease and that flexibility. It feels like just part of the crowd. That's really cool to see that. Whoever designed this is a genius. Thank you. It enables me to be free. My name is Ada Guillory Yates. I could take this thing and just go all around the garden. I got more energy to do more things, a lot more things. I really feel that it makes me more freer and independent. I am very self-sufficient using this thing. It actually took me only five minutes to learn how to do this. You don't have to say, oh, I got to walk, or I got to take the bus, or I hate to drive. You just hop on this thing and go. I wouldn't be able to, let's say, for instance, if I was restricted to my home. This gives me the mobility to get out and go. I don't have to stay at home. I can get out and go to the movies. Wherever I want to go, I can get on auto and go. I don't have to depend on anyone to come and take me here, take me there, or get on the bus. Auto helps me to be free. We've been married 37 years, and we dated five years before that. So together, like 42 years. This fits our lifestyle. It fits the way we move, the way we travel, and just the way we feel we want to look. This is exactly what I wanted that made me feel more comfortable. I just fell in love with it, and I just think it's just absolutely changed my life. It's amazing. We're taking it wherever we go. And I feel like I can just go anywhere. Hey, I'm Danny Woodburn, actor, comic, writer, disability rights activist, and illegitimate son of Gregory Peck. Well, one of those isn't exactly true. Come along with me today, we're gonna hike the Hollywood sign. Well, me and this guy. live sometimes here in Hollywood, sometimes in New York. Now that I have this, I can go six blocks that way, get all the groceries, four blocks this way, three blocks that way. New York grocery stores are really narrow. I just blow through the aisles, get everything I need, and I'm done. I kind of like doing it now because of this convenience of it. I have never walked Central Park my entire life. And now, on this thing, I'm like, Central Park, let's go. If need be, I just adjust this up like this. I stand up, she gets behind me, and we just zip along. People look at us and they're like, I wanna go on that tour. I just flew back for the first time from New York to LA. I didn't have to call a special Uber, I didn't have to call a special cab. I just fold it up into the suitcase, cabbie puts it in the car, cabbie takes it out of the car. I unpack it, I put all the extra carry-ons under here so my wife doesn't have to carry them. I cruise through the terminal, I get on the moving sidewalk with this and that kind of pisses people off. <laughs> Right down the jetway, right to the door, fold it up, give it to the guy, they put it in the plane, I get on the plane, I get off the plane, unfold it, cruise out. I mean, it's the easiest thing. It's like a transformer. This week, I was just on the set of Bold and the Beautiful, and my wife said, why don't you take that? When you pull into the lot, even with the best parking, it's like a football field back to where the stage is, and then between my dressing room and the stage door, it's like uh, 100 yards. I never have to leave early when they say, you know, Danny, can you come to set three scenes early? I can get there like in no time flat. So I call it New York pace. Like, it's, I notice while I'm in New York, there's not one New Yorker that moves faster than me, unless they have their own auto. <laughs> I just need a cup holder now, and I'm set.